Hello, fellow Bible study friends. I'm going to do a real quick video. Um, I've pretty well had laryngitis because of an upper respiratory infection, but tonight it's a little bit better. And so I've been promising this video, so I'm going to go ahead and do it um, while I have some voice left. So this is what I call scripture journaling. I don't know if it's what everybody else does when they're doing scripture journaling or scripture writing, but it is what I do. And I find it's a very easy way to spend a little bit of time in the Bible, and but to think about um, exactly what it is you're reading. So I'm just going to do a couple verses in Proverbs and this is Proverbs 1, chapter 1, starting with verse 1. Actually, I'm going to skip over and start with verse 2. We'll pretend I've already done verse 1. So, what I will do is I'll just put up here, um, I'll put it over here maybe, Proverbs. I don't even know if you can see that if I write up that high. Yeah, you can. Okay. So, Proverbs, and, and I'll just put here chapter 1. Now, this is exactly how I do it. I should have pulled out some pages to give you an example. And then I would put verse 1, and then we'll just pretend I wrote that. It says, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. And then verse 2 I just write out the verse, so just be patient with me. I tried to pick something. It wouldn't have a lot of writing, but um, this will be over real quick. So this is the NOT version. It says, their purpose, and I'm going to write quick, is to teach people wisdom. And discipline to help them understand the insights of the wise. And I'm going to go ahead and put verse 3 with it because it's a continuing thought. So I'm just going to go ahead and include it right there. Their purpose is to teach people To live disciplined. I should have put some music on, huh? <clears throat> Is to live disciplined and successful lives. Almost done. To help them do what is right. Just and fair. Okay, now, I think it's very important to write out the verses because repetition aids in memorization. Uh, it helps you to, once you go back and read it, or if you write it several times, it helps you to get it in your brain and Writing is, is just good for that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and read it and think about what I'm reading. And then I'm going to write my thoughts. Okay, so let me read that. And it's talking about these are the Proverbs. So there refers to the Proverbs. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom 
and discipline to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives to help them do what is right, just, and fair. Excuse me. So then what I do is I indent just a little bit and now, and you could use another color of ink. Let me do that. Let me just use this little purple pen. So now I'm going to write what my thought process is as I read that. As I read that. So I'm just going to put, indent a little bit. The purposes of the Proverbs. And a colon, and then I'm going to put one to teach people wisdom. Two, to teach people discipline. Three, to teach how to live, and I'm going to capitalize that because it's important, to teach them how to live disciplined and successful. And number four, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. Okay. So see, what we've done is we've written it out to help um, with memorization a little and help us to just take the time to look at it. And then we went in and redid it in our own words and just put down anything, um, just like we do in the chapter worksheets, just put down anything that stands out to you. But it's just a very simple and formal way. And then, so we've gone through verse one, two, and three. Now we're back to verse four. And it says, these Proverbs will give insight. So actually, we can continue with the list, but let's go ahead and write it out. These Proverbs will give insight. I gotta move my mouth. To the simple. Mm -hmm. Knowledge and discernment to the young. I know a lot of people who need to read these Proverbs. We all do. So then I'll go back. Let me just, I'm going to check and make sure that you guys can see. Oops. Okay, there we go. So I'll go back and this is part of the same list. So I'll just put a number five here. So what is the purpose of the Proverbs? To give insight. To the simple. And I'm going to capitalize simple. Six. To give knowledge and discernment. And discernment is the ability to tell right from wrong in this aspect anyway. The gift of discernment is the ability to see what spirit is behind something and sometimes to see things that's going on in someone's life that you wouldn't be able to see without the gift of discernment. But here it means to give them the ability to, to 
determine right from wrong. Discernment to the young. Okay. So these proverbs will give insight to the simple. And it just, let me see. I'm going to look that up real quick and see what that word is in the, uh, in the original language. You know, sometimes we have a completely different idea. Uh, okay, hang on just a minute. Let me change this of what a word is. The simple, that's H6612. <coughs> it means in the Brown Driver Briggs Dictionary, it means they could be naive or they could be foolish. So it could be either one or maybe a little of both. So, we don't know. Let me change that back to an LT. Okay. So, let's see what verse 5 says. And this will be the last one I do, I think. Let me, I'll just skip down and pretend we're on verse 7. Oh, wrong color. Back to the black. Okay, verse 7 says, the Fear of the Lord... is the foundation of true knowledge. But fools despise wisdom. and discipline. So that's, that one's pretty simple. Um, and here I'm just, this is just what's on my mind. We often <coughs> confuse worldly or even like secular doesn't mean the world in the sense of anything evil. Uh, we often confuse worldly or secular knowledge with biblical knowledge, biblical or slash spiritual knowledge. We can even have a lot of knowledge about God and the Bible, but be spiritually empty. So, just knowing the things of God and just knowing a lot about the Bible doesn't mean we have spiritual knowledge. And that comes from the fear of the Lord. And, and I don't believe that fear here means being afraid of the Lord. It, I think it means, and you know, this is uh, something, I'm going to put a question mark right here. And this means that's something I'll look up later. And I'm going to put fear of God. And so this just tells me at a later time, look that up and see what I can find on it. And that'll be a real good thing that we could do a, a verse study on. But I think it means having an ultimate respect and love for God. Um, and that is the foundation of true knowledge. But fools usually despise that. So, um, I'm hoping that'll give you an idea of something that's very simple to do. You just write out all of the verses. 
And you can write out a couple at a time and then put your thoughts on it. Or usually works better if it's one at a time. Unless, unless like up here where it was several verses. So I hope that will help you out. Give you an idea of something you can do. That's a real easy form of kind of uh, digging into the Bible a little bit as you read it. So that is all I have. And my voice lasted. So, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.